You've learned the signs of narcissism and you've done the research necessary to figure out that you're dealing with a toxic narcissist. And since you've taken the time to figure it out, you might think that if you could just tell them, maybe they'd realize the error of their ways and stop being so toxic. So here you are. And now all you can think about is telling this person exactly who they are. And you kind of feel a little worried about it. Will they really change? How will they react? Should you even tell them what you've learned? Will it help? But what do narcissists do when they know you have them figured out? Let's talk about it. Number one, they get angry. You might not be surprised to know that a narcissist who knows you figured them out will get angry, but we aren't talking about typical anger. We're talking about irrational, blind, unresolvable narcissistic rage. This is what's going to happen. They're going to research narcissism. They're going to get super mad at you. They're going to start to use the information that they find against you. Every time you have a fight, they're going to be like, oh yeah, this must be because I'm a narcissist, right? Or even worse, they're going to flip it around on you and call you the narcissist. They will verbally and emotionally go on the defense and make any level of communication nearly impossible. Number two, they play the victim. Just like any other situation where the narcissist doesn't get what they want, narcissistic injury is sure to follow narcissistic rage in this situation. Now, assuming you refuse to agree with the idea that you were wrong with your suggestion that they might be a narcissist, even when they get angry, they might slip into the old poor me act. This means that they will act like you telling them they're a narcissist is actually just you being mean and calling them names. They might even accuse you of being abusive yourself. No, I'm not kidding. Number three, speaking of that, they do their research and they use it against you. Once you tell a narcissist that they're a narcissist, they're going to want to know exactly what you mean. So what are they going to do? Well, they'll start Googling. That's when they're going to find my articles, my videos, and the thousands of others that have popped up in the past couple of years. They're going to learn all the lingo and they're going to decide that you are the narcissist. They'll tell you so. And they'll tell you that you're just accusing them of the dark truth of yourself. They'll project. And in some cases, Despite all practical evidence, they'll even project their own other negative qualities onto you. And like I said, call you the narcissist. Then they twist everything around. And if they're really good at it, they'll leave you spinning, wondering if maybe they're right. And you really are the narcissist in this situation. Number four, they will diagnose you. Speaking of diagnosable personality disorders, the narcissist's next step might be to actually diagnose you with some kind of psychological problem. It's a common occurrence when a narcissist is lying or manipulating a friend, a coworker, or a loved one. When they don't get their way, they often turn up the intensity by questioning your sanity. You might be called paranoid or stressed out or too emotional, too sensitive, even hormonal. And to turn up the pressure, they'll tell you that you need therapy and medicine and whatnot to get through it. They'll tell you you're bipolar, schizophrenic, or worse. And again, it's all about being in control. Number five, they gaslight you. Remember that part I mentioned where they twist everything around and leave you spinning? Yeah, well, that might also be part of the gaslighting cycle. Now, gaslighting, it's kind of the narcissist's go-to manipulation. Used by most narcissists, it's a pervasive and highly effective tactic meant to manipulate you by psychological means into questioning your own sanity. In this case, they will say things to indicate that you don't know what you're talking about or say that you're so small minded you would believe anything you read anyway. Or they might tear down your sources or even tell you that you didn't experience what you actually did experience with them. Of course, their go to insult tends to be an implication or direct statement that you're just flat out crazy, but don't fall for it. Number six, they tell you what they're thinking. Narcissists often claim to know what you or other people around them are thinking. And if you deny that your mind is working that way, however they say it's working, they're going to call you a liar. They might make a face or a gesture to indicate it, or they might even accuse you of just lying to yourself. Because of course, as narcissists, they can't be wrong. And they certainly won't acknowledge that there's anything wrong with them on an intrinsic level, at least not anything they can't directly benefit from claiming. And when you tell them what they are, all they're going to hear is that your thinking must be flawed because there's nothing wrong with them as far as they can tell. Speaking of which, number seven, they claim to be normal. Narcissists are always acting like you're overreacting to their abuse. And in this case, it's no different. Rather than acknowledging there might be something that's a little bit off about their personality, much less that they actually have a diagnosable personality disorder, they will claim that their behavior is completely normal. And even though deep down, you know for sure that it's not, you might doubt yourself thanks to their ability to state complete lies with absolute confidence. Hint, their behavior is far from normal. Normal behavior generally isn't diagnosable. 
Number eight, they bait and switch you. Narcissists love the old bait and switch, don't they? But let's break it down a little here. Baiting is what happens when a narcissist kind of pokes at you, intentionally trying to upset or anger you, or to somehow get an emotional rise from you, so to speak. They might use this manipulation tactic in order to start an argument. They'll do this by flinging crap, I mean insults about your character, and by blatantly attacking you on sensitive or personal levels. So maybe they'll say that you're just like the parent who abused you growing up, for example. In any case, they'll dig deep and use the most painful insults they can think of. And this is where the switch comes in. After all, they do all of this for one single purpose, and that is to deflect, as in to throw the negative attention off of themselves and onto you. Number nine, they use your fears against you. You already know the narcissist has been breaking you down for all of these years. In fact, the narcissist has you convinced that they know so much about you by now that they might even know more about you than you know about yourself. But remember how it was during the idealization stage at the beginning of your relationship? They might have listened to you really closely and you might have thought it was because you met your soulmate. But in reality, they did this in order to file away your vulnerabilities for later use because now, if they haven't already, they're going to bring them back out and they'll do anything in their power to make you feel scared. They'll lie to you and tell you that you'll never find anyone else or you'll end up all alone if you leave them. They're gonna threaten to smear you by exposing your so-called flaws and bad habits to everyone in your life and then they'll remind you that no one will love you anyway. They are playing on the most common fear that we all have, the fear of abandonment and of being alone with no one to help you. Again, don't fall for it. Number 10, they will just call you a bad person. As you're most likely painfully aware, narcissists have this way of refusing to validate you. In fact, they are experts at invalidation, and that is a big part of what makes their behavior so difficult to deal with for us. Even when they're not being accused of being a narcissist, they always want to tell you all about your imperfections, don't they? In thorough, excruciating, and if we're being honest, exaggerated detail. They will make up lies about who you are and what you think, and they'll expect you to go along with it and be offended if you don't. They'll straight up accuse you of being a bad person. As far as they can see it, you've accused them to something, so they might as well point out all the things that are wrong with you too. And since you've dared to question their perfection and dominance by suggesting that they might have a personality disorder, well, now you're gonna be treated to new and additional insults to your integrity and to the very core of who you are. Nothing is off limits for a narcissist. Are you kind of getting where I'm going with this? The fact is that a narcissist will never admit that there could ever be something wrong or that they're not perfect if they can avoid it. And this is especially true when there's no benefit to them admitting it. So should you tell a narcissist that they're a narcissist? Well, you can try if you want to. I mean, try to tell them what they are now that you know what to expect. But before you do, I just want you to remember that it won't do you very much good. In fact, it might actually make your life harder. After all, narcissists are infamously incapable of true self-reflection. So they're only gonna end up hurting you emotionally, psychologically, and in some unfortunate cases, even physically, if they know what you know. It just isn't worth the momentary satisfaction that comes with it. If you want my personal opinion, I'd say don't bother trying. It'll only set you back and leave you feeling confused, angry, and maybe a little crazy. So how do you deal with a narcissist then? Well, if you've ever been involved with a narcissist, you probably already know that it's difficult to even have a reasonable conversation with them on a regular basis. This is because by nature, the narcissist is kind of wired to instigate drama, to manipulate you, and to generally do their very best to make it all about them. This can be both exhausting and frustrating for anyone trying to deal with them. As you and I both know, life isn't always ideal. So you need to know exactly how to manage these people in the moment. Well, we all know that the narcissist has a big full toolbox of manipulative tactics. It's pretty shocking when you think about how many different ways they will try to get what they want, not to mention how low they will go. But there's one simple rule when it comes to effectively communicating with a narcissist. And it's so basic that you probably won't even believe me when I tell you what it is. But the rule is don't engage the narcissist. What do I mean by this? Well, it's simple. Keep your emotion out of it. When the narcissist tries to manipulate and provoke you, which they inevitably will, you have to maintain an air of professional type detachment. Try to see them as almost a stranger and communicate with them on that level, like an annoying customer if you worked in customer service. This is what you might know as the gray rock rule in which you deal with the narcissist if you have to, but you only give boring, monotonous responses. This deprives the narcissist of the narcissistic supply they get out of the emotional feedback you'd otherwise give them. By sticking to the gray rock rule, you can bet that your narcissist will lose interest very quickly. That's because it'll retrain their brain to consider you boring and to put it as simply as possible 
possible. It'll mean that you're no longer an effective source of narcissistic supply. Now, if it helps, look at it like this. By not telling the narcissist that you know what they are, you won't be showing them all of your cards. And that, my friend, will give you an advantage over them since you can then learn about their psychology and learn exactly how to deal with them effectively if you must. Of course, like I said, going no contact is always the ideal option when it comes to dealing with toxic narcissists, but gray rock is the next best thing. If you're struggling with whether or not you're actually dealing with a narcissist, you're not sure, please take a look at this video. It's going to help you know exactly how to handle the situation if you do doubt yourself here. So what do you think? This brings me to the question of the day. And the question of the day is, have you ever told a narcissist what you think they are? Have you ever considered it? And if you did tell them what happened, what advice would you offer your fellow survivors in this situation? Share your thoughts, share your ideas, share your experiences in the comment section below and let's talk about it. As always, thank you so much for being a part of my day and a part of my life. And Hey, thanks for letting me be a part of yours. It really does mean a lot to me. Now, before I go, make sure you take a look at the videos I'm leaving for you here and here. And while you're at it, hit that subscribe button so we can stay connected and continue on this healing journey together. I'll see you soon.